if you're from Texas, South Padre Island probably doesn't need an introduction. Located just at the coastal tip of the state, it's home to warm Gulf waters, famous beaches, and enough fishing, boating, and beachfront to fill two episodes. This time, though, we're going to do it weekend getaway style with maximum fun. With so much to see and do, though, knowing where to start was going to be a bit of a challenge. So I decided to ask the experts. I'm here with Phil, the owner of Tex-Mex Tours. Thank you so much for allowing us to come out here. What are we going to be doing today? The pirate ship is a 17th century replica of a Spanish galleon. It's family entertainment, it's sword fighting, it's face painting, it's treasure hunts, it's dolphins. There's a full bar on board for the adults. Hey, okay, that's the, what I like to hear. And the whole program's <laughs> about two and a half hours. Wonderful, wonderful. After the pirate ship, we got uh, into what we refer to as our sea life safari, and you'll be on that boat this afternoon. Yes, sir. And we guarantee to see the dolphins on that trip. And the, part of the highlight is the dolphins, but it, we also drag a net behind the boat. We pick up all the different sea creatures. Mm -hmm. We put them into an observation tank. You can handle the ones that are safe, and uh, then we release everything back into the wild. And then hopefully after that, maybe we'll do a little deep sea fishing, see whether you guys have got the energy or not. <laughs> You have the whole package here at Tex-Mex Tours, so thank you so much for allowing us to come out here. Again, um, we're going to be doing some deep sea fishing, we're going to be going on an eco tour, see some dolphins, we're going to go on the pier and see all the catches from today, and of course, cannot forget the pirate ship. You have a full plate. Alrighty, so if you're looking for family-friendly adventure here on South Padre Island, you have to come check out this, the Black Dragon of the Black Dragon Pirate Ship. Today, families can take to the seas in this replica of a 17th century ship and get treated to a show of sword fights, water guns, and of course, pirate songs. Plus, you can learn a thing or two about boarding an enemy craft, and there's just the simple fun of being out there in an old-fashioned three-masted ship. Fortunately, this pleasure cruise only lasts a couple hours and there's a modern grub below deck. And in between battles for supremacy of the seas, I was able to meet some of the crew. So I do have to ask you, how did you become a pirate? This is how it happens. One day we're out at sea and we got attacked. We got bombarded, boom, boom, boom. Our ship started to sink, so I decided to jump off. As I wake up, I see a big old ship coming by. Who was it? The Black Dragon. I say, Captain, if you take me aboard, I'll be faithful to you and the Black Dragon. Sure enough, throw me a rope. I've been faithful to the Black Dragon ever since. I'm going to ask you a question. Aye, aye. You ready? Aye. aye. What is a pirate's favorite letter? Horror! You think it's the R, but it's really the C. Oh. How do you celebrate a pirate's birthday? Oh, my. You got mariachi, tequila. <laughs> How do you celebrate? That sounds like a good time, though. You give him a card. <laughs> I must have impressed him with my pirate impression because upon returning to the pirate's not secret layer, they let me fire off the cannon. <laughs> After my brief career in piracy, it was back to shore. See what my next move is. And I have a few places of what to do. It's a little too early to hit up the nightlife, and I'm not ready to get in the water just yet. But that's when I saw a sign for this. Yep, Dolphin Watch Ego Tours, y'all. Can I tell you a little bit something about me? My top two favorite animals happen to be dolphins and the other, koala bears. I don't see any of those around, so what do you say? Let's go find some dolphins. In fact, the Gulf of Mexico is home to nine different types of dolphins. But the dolphins are just part of the experience at Dolphin Watch Eco Tours. First, the captain and his crew led their passengers through a presentation on the marine life around Sao Padre Island, letting you get up close and personal with the creatures of the deep. Never seen this before. It's like cute and me. slimy in a cute way. This is, this is a squid, calamari. And uh, looks like I'd be eating that one for dinner tonight. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's like holding my hand. I'm going to name it uh, Sushi. Ah, sorry. <laughs> and after our science lesson, it was time for the main event. Come on. Woo. Woo. 
for a tour that bills itself as South Padre's original dolphin tour, the captain and his crew definitely delivered. After a bit more dolphin spotting, it was back to the port to check out a popular little fishing spot. It took about an hour and a half boat ride into the Gulf of Mexico, but we finally reached our fishing spot. So after getting a quick lesson from one of the experts, I tried casting my own rod for a while. With absolutely no luck and several failed attempts, I found some inspiration from this little guy watching him hook a big one of his own. Just like that, I had my first catch. With some help from the fishing experts, of course. Can I touch it? Wow. <laughs> and after an action-packed 24 hours of fun in the sun, it was the perfect way to end the day. All right, y'all, I've got another full day ahead of me tomorrow. You only live once, but it's much better with a good night's sleep. So we're gonna turn in and we'll see you in the morning.